Hello everybody, it's Stranger Gamer back and we got another match. We got another last 16 match for the Discord tournament. And in this clash we have Ultimate Dino Queen's second entry squaring off against the end of the Metro. Can Queenie get revenge for Kick King's defeat in the first round at the hands of Ender Demetro? Or will the Ender Demetro defeat both King and Queen? Let's find out. In the red corner, we have the Acrocanthosaurus Revival type, which means, for those who don't know, if it dies in a tie, it gets to come back once. Boasting a unique moveset of Tag Team, Archaeopteryx Charm, and Flare Sword. Ultimate Dino Queen pretty strong in the first round against Yang Chuangasaurus. And in the blue corner we have the end of the Netro and you guys you talk death. Defeated Ultimate Dino King in the first round. A very impressive in a very tense match. Anyway, boasting a move set off Dino Illusion, Tornado Toss, and Light Recovery. Light recovery was very effective against Ultimate Dino King, as I just as I mentioned. Let's get on with it. Who will strike the first blow? Oh, we have a tie! It's a tie for the first round. Nothing to separate the two thus far. It's a second time! Both going for their crits. Neither one getting them off. Oh, but the Utoraktu gets the first hit. Coming in strong against the Acrocanthosaurus. Good start with the Utoraptor. Oh, but it's another time. A very tense match so far. Oh, but the Acro gets a crit off. The Dino Illusion is activated. And it's a very, we're very even thus far, but the Utoraptor does have the Dino Illusion, which means the next time the Acro does a hit, oh, the Dino Illusion will activate. The Utoraptor gets the next hit, but it'll do very little damage, because it's a wind, because it's a wind dinosaur going up against a fire dinosaur. And the Cryolophosaurus does some light recovery there. And we have another time. Oh, the Utoraptor seemingly starting to turn the screw. Oh, the Ultimate Dino Queen not looking good. Oh, it's the Papasaurus! The Tornado Toss activates. The Papasaurus comes in to save the Acrocanthosaurus from certain defeat. Oh, what a, what a, what a clutch up between them. What a clutch moment. Papasaurus, the tag team, activating, and the Papasaurus limps away. Why did it limp away? It's like, didn't any dinosaurs take more beatings than the Papasaurus just limps? Anyway, oh, but the Acrocanthosaurus gets the hit, but the Dino Illusion activates. Oh, and the black screen of death again. And the Flare Sword still has yet to be activated this way. Quite surprised, actually. What a match we got! Oh, it's a tie! It's a tie! What a t what a match this has been! Neither one given an inch, but it's a tie! But the Acrocanthosaurus come back because of the revival type effect. But the next time, if they die in a tie again, it will die permanently. What the hell? Oh, but the Acro gets the hit! The Acrocanthosaurus has defeated the Utahaptor! An ultimate Dino Queen gets revenge on the end of the Metro, and she will advance to the next round to face Sorrow Fragonax Rex. Ultimate Dino Queen, a dark horse in the tournament, looking very good. I hope you enjoyed this match. See you next time.